everyone welcome back to my class if you are new here karibu sana karibu karibu sana i'm happy to have you here today so today we are going to learn about swahili verbs so this is part two i hope you watch part one okay okay so but before starting i have an announcement for you we have started teaching swahili by using zoom so in case you need help to improve your listening skills to improve your speaking skills or you need help uh, in translation from english to swahili okay this is the right place so we teach one on one classes by using zoom yes by using zoom so in case you want to I mean to have this kind of class to improve your skills i mean your listening skills your swahili speaking skills or you need help in translation from english to swahili please contact me and this is my email address contact me and we'll be happy to have you uh, in our zoom class thank you so much asante sana so let's get started so this is our today topic and this is part two of swahili verbs okay to answer sasa let's get started okay so we have verb kuomba kuomba as i said in my first video part one video ku means two okay ku means to so the verb root is omba so kuomba is to ask for to ask for something kuomba to ask for so omba is ask ask for and kuomba is to ask for okay vizuri sana another verb is kuzima kuzima is to turn off so kuzima kuzima the verb root is zima okay so this is the verb root which doesn't change you can change here or you can change the verb end but zim this is the verb root okay so kuzima is to turn off kuzima vizuri kufungua 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 is to open kufungua kufungua and kufunga is to close kufunga kufunga another verb is kusimama so kufunga kufungua to open to close Another verb is kusimama. Simama is stand up. Kusimama to stand up. Kusimama. Kusimama. Okay? Another verb is kuka. 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 Kuka is to sit and ka is sit. Kuka, kuka, ndio, kuka, <laughs> vizuri. Another verb is kuonja, kuonja, kuonja is to test. And onja, which is the verb root, is test. Kuonja, kuonja, okay? And another verb is kunusa kunusa is to smell kunusa kunusa ndio kunusa another verb verb nyingine ni kuabudu 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 is to worship kuabudu to worship kuabudu kuabudu kukusanya kukusanya to collect kukusanya kukusanya so kusanya 
is the verb root and which means collect if you add ku is kukusanya which is to collect kukusanya and another verb is kuondoa kuondoa to remove kuondoa 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 is to remove and the last verb for today is kuruka is to jump kuruka kuruka to jump okay so these are the verbs swahili verbs and now let's look at these examples which talk about these swahili verbs that we have um learned today okay let's look at the first verb which is kuomba and the example says tunaomba kuingia ndani tunaomba kuingia ndani tunaomba kuingia ndani so do you remember subject prefix to represent personal pronoun sisi which is we in english okay so tunaomba sisi tunaomba kuingia ndani and you can say tunaomba kuingia ndani without using sisi and that is a clear swahili sentence okay so tunaomba kuingia ndani tunaomba kuingia ndani to ask for so we are asking for coming inside we are asking for going inside tunaomba kuingia ndani we are asking for coming inside kuingia to enter okay ndani is inside so tunaomba kuingia ndani we are asking for or we ask for inter for entering inside tunaomba kuingia ndani okay another example says tafadhali zima ta tafadhali zima ta please turn off the light so kuzima is to turn off and zima is turn off okay so tafadhali means please so please turn off the light zima turn off okay tafadhali zima ta tafadhali zima ta please turn off the light so ta is light okay so tafadhali zima ta please turn off the light tafadhali zima ta kufungua kufungua is to open so the sentence says yeye alifungua mlango yeye alifungua mlango so yeye this is the personal pronoun which stands to represent he or which means he or she so he or she opened the door alifungua so this is the past tense ali because of li okay so he or she opened the door so fungua is open okay so he or she opened the door yeye alifungua mlango yeye alifungua mlango kufunga to close wao walifunga dirisha wao walifunga dirisha wao they okay walifunga dirisha they closed the door 
sorry, Dirisha is window. So they closed the window. Wow, walifunga dirisha. They closed the window. Walifunga. Funga is close. Okay. Simama, kusimama. Wote mtasimama hapa. Wote mtasimama hapa. Wote mtasimama hapa. Wote, all, all of you, you all, okay, you all, you all will stand up here. Hapa means here, okay, so you all will stand up here, you all, you, you will stand up here. Wote mtasimama hapa. Okay, kuka, to sit. And the example says, Baba huwa anaka hapa. Baba huwa anaka hapa. Do you remember a bit of tense? Sorry, huwa. Huwa, okay, this is a bit of tense. Baba huwa anaka hapa. Daddy or father usual sits here. Hapa, here. Anaka, to sit. Okay? Sit. Kuka, to sit. So, but father usual sits here. Hua. Hua, anaka, hapa. This is a bit of tense. Okay? Very good. Vizuri sana. Another example says um, the verb kunusa to smell. Paka anapenda kunusa to smell. Paka. So who is paka? Paka is cat. So paka anapenda kunusa. A cat likes to smell. A cat likes to smell. Paka anapenda kunusa. Kunusa, to smell. Paka anapenda kunusa. Paka anapenda kunusa. Vizuri sana. Another example, kuabudu. Example says, Tunamu abudu mungu wa kweli. So kuabudu is to worship. Tunamu abudu mungu wa kweli. Tunamu abudu. Abudu to worship. Tuna. This stand to represent personal pronoun we, which means sisi. Personal pronoun sisi, which means we. So sisi. Tunamuabudu mungu wa kweli. We are worshipping the true God. So mungu is God. Okay? And wa kweli, true. Tunamuabudu mungu wa kweli. We worship the true God. We worship the true God. Tunamuabudu mungu wa kweli. Tunamuabudu mungu wa kweli. Vizuri sana. Another example, a uh, verb kukusanya, to correct. And the example says, nitakusanya kila kitu. Nitakusanya Kila kitu. So, ni stand to represent personal pronoun mimi. Mimi, nitakusanya. Nitakusanya kila kitu. Kusanya, collect. Mimi, nitakusanya kila kitu. I will collect everything. So, kila kitu, everything. Nitakusanya. I will collect. So, this is past I mean, future tense are because of ta, okay? So, nitakusanya, 
Mimi nitakusanya kila kitu. Nitakusanya kila kitu. Kuondoa, to remove. Waliondoa kila kitu. Wali ondoa kila kitu. Who are they? Wao. They, wao? Yes, they. Wao. They remove everything. Wali ondoa kila kitu. Wali ondoa kila kitu. They remove everything. So kila kitu is everything, okay? Wali ondoa kila kitu. Wali ondoa kila kitu. They remove everything. So ondoa, remove. Kuondoa, to remove. And our last example uh, is anapenda kuruka kitandani. So kuruka is to jump. Anapenda kuruka kitandani. Anapenda kuruka kitandani. A stands to represent personal pronoun he or she. Okay. He, she. Yes. Anapenda kuruka kitandani. Anapenda kuruka kitandani. He or she likes to jump on the bed. Anapenda kuruka kitandani. Anapenda kuruka kitandani. Anapenda kuruka kitandani. He or she likes to jump on the bed. Okay? Thank you so much. So these are some of examples which explain about um, these verbs here. So this uh, is our part two of Swahili verb. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Asante sana. Kwaheri!